We're recording. Awesome, awesome. Well, welcome to tonight's uh, social media one-on-one training. And we're so happy tonight uh, to be blessed by the brilliance of three-star director um, on her way uh, to that four-star. Uh, Miss Tanisha Burke is a businesswoman out of Space Coast, Florida. She's a wife. She's a mom. She's a mover shaker. She's a market leader. And she has mastered and built a team over 2,000 strong, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from social media primarily. Um, and this young lady has just figured it out. It's been a lot of, um, I'm sure, Tanisha, mess ups, tr trial and error, but you have figured this out. And I'm so honored uh, to have you to speak to my people. Um, there are so many people hungry for this knowledge, and there are so few leaders who are willing to share. And I just think that that shows a huge heart on your part. And I'm going to turn the floor over to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Director Watkins. And thank you all for having me. This is one of my favorite parts of being in this business is the training. So welcome, everyone. I'm going to get started and just jump in because I, I'm sure you guys are going to have some questions and I want to leave a lot of time at the end for questions. So this is the Just Ask Peak Interest prospecting script that's going to help you uh, to build your business on social media. So there is a difference between marketing and prospecting. And so marketing is the management process through which goods and services move from concept to the customer. So a lot of you are posting stuff on, on social media. You're thinking you're prospecting, but you're actually just marketing. You're just putting something out there and you're waiting for people to respond. So that's marketing. The only people that are successful with building a business with marketing are people that are influencers. So think about this. If you are a celebrity and you go on social media and you post about this great chai tea, a whole bunch of people are going to respond and want to buy your chai tea, right? But if you are Susie Homemaker and you copy and paste, the same exact post that the celebrity did, is Susie Homemaker gonna get all the same responses? She's not, right? Because she's not an influencer. And think about this, there are people, for example, on Instagram that are influencers and people pay them a lot of money to market their products and services. So prospecting is something that we can all do, whether you're an influencer or not. Prospecting is a term used to refer to activities. So now you're actually doing an activity that you have to do to find prospects. So I'm going to teach you all tonight how to prospect on social media, and it doesn't matter if you're an influencer or not. So you wanna use the 80-20 rule. 80% of your time should be spent prospecting. So those of you who have a desire to become a director, keep recruiting that's where you want to spend your time and 20 percent of your time should be spent helping your team so let's get right into the script this script is something that you can use on all social media platforms this isn't something that you're going to post on your personal page but this is something that you're going to send in a private message a one-on-one -on -one, or even through text messages so i'm going to use uh jp jp are you still unmuted I'm going to use JP as my prospect. So JP and I are friends on Facebook, but we don't personally know each other. All right. So I'm going to send this to her in Messenger. Hi, JP. How are you? I know we don't really know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you'd be open at all to what it is I'm doing to make extra money and create residual income without it interfering with what you're currently doing. If you're open to it, I'd be happy to share a little more information. If you're not, no worries, totally cool, and it's still nice to be connected with you on here. So guys, this is simple. Remember, your role as a Planet Marketing Rep is simply to find people that are open to looking at an opportunity to earn extra income. That's it. If they're open, we're gonna share the information. If they're not, we're just gonna ask them for a referral. Now, let's assume JP says, absolutely. Now I'm gonna respond with, great. I have an appointment I have to get ready for right now. 
but if I send you a quick video, how soon can you watch it? The reason why you want to say you have an appointment that you have to get ready for is so that the prospect doesn't start asking you questions that a new business partner may not be prepared to answer. So because you're letting the prospect know that you have an appointment, they're going to be okay with not asking you 50 million questions like, well, what is it and how much is it? Is it this? Is it that? They're not going to do that because you said you have an appointment. But the fact that you're letting them know you're going to send them a video is going to put them at ease. Now, whatever time they say they're going to watch the video, they might say, oh, well, I can watch it now. I can watch it in 15 minutes. Schedule on your cell phone calendar what time to follow up with them. So if she tells me she can watch it at 8.30, I'm gonna put on my calendar, follow up with JP at nine o'clock. Next, I'm going to send, here are two short videos, 4.15 minutes and three minutes to review. After watching, let me know if this is something you're interested in learning more about. The reason why you want to put how long the videos are, because how many of you have been prospected on social media before? Someone sent you a video, you click play, and it's like 40 minutes long. And you're like, delete, I don't have time for that, right? So we want to let our prospects know up front, this is only going to take seven minutes. Everybody has seven minutes to find out about an opportunity. And you're going to send them the preview ITA as well as the preview rep. Now, when I'm working in Facebook, I don't send these via the mobile app. I just copy and paste the link as you see here, right? Because these are new prospects. These are people that you may not know, so they may, they may not be comfortable giving you a phone number. So don't worry about trying to send these two videos via the app. Just copy and paste the link as you see here. Now it's the follow-up. It's 30 minutes later, and I'm going to follow up. Hey, JP, after having watched the videos, is this something you'd be interested in learning more about? She's going to say yes. And now we're going to go right into setting the appointment. Great. When are you available for a call so we can discuss further and you can decide if this opportunity is a good fit for you or maybe someone you know? When you add in the maybe someone you know, it takes the pressure off, right? And that person doesn't feel like you're desperate to sign them up. And they're going to be open to looking at the information because they won't feel the pressure either. Now, once the appointment is set, I have her phone number, I got the time locked in. Now I'm going to use the mobile app and I'm gonna use this script. Here's a more detailed video. 10, 54 minutes to watch and write down any questions. I'll be sure to answer them on our call. And this is when you're gonna send the big picture video. I look forward to speaking with you. So this is where you wanna send a big picture video via the app so that you can make sure that your prospect has watched the video 100% in full before the three-way call because we do not want to waste the expert's time with someone who has not watched the video in full. Now, let's assume I send the initial message to JP and she's not interested, right? She might say, oh, Tanisha, thank you for reaching out, but I have three other businesses. I'm really not looking for anything right now. I'm good. Then I'm going to respond with, hey, no problem. If you know of anyone looking to travel more and make some extra money, if I show them step by step how to do it, please let me know. You can just share these quick 40 second videos with them. So here's where I'm going to send the peak. ITA and the peak rep video. Also, if you have any upcoming trips that you're planning, please give me the opportunity to win your travel business. You can register on my travel website, blah, 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 and teletravel.com for exclusive travel deals, promotions, and specials. Guys, this is what I have my team using. Anybody can use this script anybody it doesn't matter how much experience they have in network marketing it doesn't matter if they have a large network of people a small network of people it doesn't matter because with this script you can send it to people you know people you don't know you can use this on your relatives right if you're sending this to your cousin jill just take out the part that says i know we don't know each other because that would be really weird right to say that to your cousin and also you can personalize the beginning of the script. Let's say you are 
um, prospecting someone that you know who does real estate, right? So it's more of, hi, how are you? I know we don't really know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you'd be open at all to what it is I'm doing to make extra money and create residual income without it interfering with your real estate business, right? So you can tweak it based on the person that you're sending it to. But for the most part, stick to the script. So personalize it, but stick to it. It's when people start trying to tweak it and, and do some other things, then they, they put themselves in a situation where questions are being asked. But if you stick to the script, and I've edited this script probably four or five times, um, just kind of based on responses that I've gotten. I've tried to make it foolproof so that you don't get backed into a wall and you're not sure of how to respond to someone. But this script right here, I call this money in the bank and you can use it on all social media platforms. You can use it in your cell phone with the people that you have in your cell phone. How many of you have a box of uh, business cards? or a drawer full of business cards that you've collected over the years. Take those cards out and use this script on those people. This is a great way to do it. So questions, I'm going to um, unmute the line so that you can unmute yourself and ask questions. So hold on one moment. <laughs> All right, so everyone can unmute the line. I'm gonna start with you, JP. Wow, wow, wow. One thing about this uh, peak, this is non-threatening. It is very non-threatening. Um, that's what I think I like most about it. It's like, cool, no worries, no problems. I, I'm just really connecting with you. It has a sense of posture in it. Um, I like how you're building it up. Um, to, you know, uh, kind of like you're building the rapport the whole time. And that's one of the important things is that you're making it open-ended so that we're building rapport, then we're exposing, and then we're closing. It's a natural progression. It's not just weird verbiage that, you know, you're throwing up on people who don't want it. It's like you're gaining agreement the entire time. Right. And so you're giving them a little sprinkle here and there. You're saying, cool, if you don't know. And then I like how you use the takeaway. You're like, it may not be for you, but you sent the link anyway. What's the likelihood of them looking at it anyway? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, totally brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. And another trick, guys, the, the takeaway where you're sending the peak ITA and the peak preview, send it to yourself first and then copy the link from your text message and put it in the script. This way you'll be able to see how many people are actually watching the peak, the ones that said they weren't interested. So I do that too. Tanisha, there are some people who've typed in the chat. Um, so definitely yep. um, you can unmute your line, but there are some people who are typing some things as well. All right, so I'm checking the chat, bear with me. Quasi says, thank you so much, Mrs. Burke. This info has helped me a ton over the last week. Great, great, great. Awesome. If you have any questions, guys, go ahead and either put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself. Love it. Great, great, great. Love it. Simple and easy. Awesome information. Love it. Great stuff. I needed this. Great. Can you click through? Yes, this is Monty Grady, and I, and I definitely enjoy all the, the presentations about this type of info. It really helps me a lot. puts a lot on my mind. And I really take heed to it. So it was very helpful. I appreciate every information that was told to me tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Imani. You're welcome. I have a good right, night. Bert. Yes. I have a question. Hi, Ronnie. Sure. Hi. How soon after making a new friend on social media would you send this script to them? Great question. So sometimes I... I send it right away, it depends. So a good way to do it is, if someone accepts your friend request right away, go to their page and maybe like something or comment on something, and then just, just send it. I, I, I usually don't wait, because I'm, you know, success loves speed, and I'm, I'm trying to get through the numbers. 
So I don't usually wait. I just kind of send it. And especially if you sent me a friend request, I'm instantly sending it. Yeah, we're in a speed wealth boot camp. Everything is fast right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I have a question. Yes. Hi, Shelly. Hi. So do you um do this when you post in groups at all? And and they and they Great respond. Great question. Great question. So I never post this in groups, but let me show you how you can use it in groups. Let's say, for example, Shelly, you love wine. Do you love wine, Shelly? Are you a Moscato girl like me? I love <laughs> Moscato is the one. <laughs> okay, there you go. And wait, you live in Texas? Detroit. Detroit. So let's let's assume there's a group on Facebook called Moscato Lovers of Detroit. And there are 10,000 people in this group. And let's say Gwen posts in this group about some new Moscato that she just, you know, purchased. First of all, it's going to be easy for you to engage in that group, right? It's easy for you to like and comment and just really engage in the group because you share a common interest with the people in that group. So when Gwen does a post about some new Moscato she just tried and she's telling everybody, hey, you got to try this, you want to comment and say, you know, thanks, Gwen. I'm going out to get this tonight. Then you private message Gwen and you say, Hi, Gwen. How are you? I know we don't really know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you were open to what it is I'm doing to make extra money, create residual income, and, tra and travel more without it interfering with what you're currently doing. If you're open to it, I'd be happy to share a little more information. If you're not, no worries. Totally cool. And it's still nice to be connected with you and the Moscato Lovers of Detroit group, right? So you and Gwen are not friends on Facebook, but because you mentioned that you know her from the Moscato Lovers of Detroit group, she's going to be more inclined to say, sure, what you got? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. You're welcome. And just imagine how many Moscato Lover groups there are on Facebook. So you will never, ever run out of, run out of <laughs> the prospect. So guys, just right. think whatever special interest that you personally have whatever hobbies if you like cars join car groups if you're if you're a real estate agent join more real estate agent groups if you love fishing join fishing groups there's so much you know it just makes it more genuine and easy for you to engage in that group and then you know you're building rapport but then you hit them with this on the inside okay great thank you you're welcome hello i have a question as well Hi, Monica. How are you? Great. That's good. I was wondering, um, how do you get the link? Like, where do you get it from? Great question. So go to your app store and download Vimeo. V-I-M-E-O. Planet Marketing uploads all of their videos to Vimeo, which is, it's just like YouTube, except it's not YouTube, it's Vimeo. So you can go there, find Planet Marketing, subscribe to their page, their channel, and you'll see all the videos. Every single Planet Marketing video that's in our app is on Vimeo. Okay. Is this, is this one a specific name for the links that, you know, the short videos? Yes, it's, it's in there. So that short video is the Peak ITA and the Peak Rep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Darlisha is asking, are you copying and pasting? Yes. So just imagine how many times you can copy and paste this. Okay. Yes. Hello, I have a question. Yes. Okay. So let's say you're already friends on Facebook mm -hmm. and you think they'll be great for this business. So you see, I did the peak the interest part and you saw that they saw it. Mm-hmm. How soon do you, you know, try again to just show them the information? Like, do you be like, hey, I saw you saw this message. You know, you don't want to be. Nasty. Yeah, so usually what I, what I do is if they haven't responded, 
then I just go straight to my follow-up and say, hey, after having watched the videos, is this something you'd be interested in learning more about? So I just make the assumption that they did watch it, and then usually that will prompt them to watch it. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, anybody else? I'm gonna go back to the chat. Uh, this, is Orlando, this is Orlando from Houston. How are you doing today? Good. Man, I tell you what, that's an amazing presentation. I love the simplicity. Very easy. And uh, I, see, I see myself having some very good success with this, uh, this strategy. But I wanted to ask you, um, I didn't see the very last one, which you say is the money maker. I, will, I wanted to screenshot it. Can you go back and show that last one before questions, that last uh, slide? Sure. sure. Let me... The one that if they're not interested? I think it was one the one right before you have this the uh, slide. Script. Yeah, this whole script is, is, is money in the bank. That's what I call it. This is the money in the bank script. Yeah, I believe that too. <laughs> but definitely. Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, all the information that you're sharing with us tonight. Take some time out your busy schedule. Thanks again. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Uh, Michelle is asking, what is the 80-20 rule? So, Michelle, we were saying that 80% of your time should be prospecting and 20% of your time should be helping your team. 80% of your time prospecting, 20% of your time helping your team. Hi, Ms. Berg. Hi, Tasha. How are you? I'm good. I have a question. Yes. Um, a young lady, <laughs> she friended me on Instagram. And as soon as I clicked on it, all of her information just popped up. I think you'll be interested in blah, 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 blah. How do we do that? I don't know. I haven't figured that <laughs> out yet. I wouldn't want to do that because it, you know, sometimes when you do things, have that auto can, it's just impersonal and it turns people off. Okay. I was just wondering. I was like, wow. I, I like to be more personable, but it just tripped me out. I'm like, okay. So I felt like, wait, wait, I didn't even, I don't even know you. <laughs> and, and that's what people, you know, that's how pe most people feel. It's like, it's a, it's a turn off. So definitely personalize your intro, you know, and, and definitely, you know, if you take that extra step and comment and like something on their personal page, then your name is going to show up in their notification and then they're going to be more inclined to give you a positive response to your piece. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to... Yes, Natasha, it's being recorded. All right. Willa said, you mentioned sending links to self, then forwarding to prospects and watching the engagement. How exactly do you do this through Messenger? So what I was saying is these videos, especially the peak, the peak ITA and the peak Vimeo, if you go to your Planet Marketing mobile app, text yourself these two videos, then take the link of the video <laughs> and put it in the script. So this way you're sending the actual mobile version of this so that anytime someone, and, and I named it, so I think I have it set up in my phone when I text it to myself, I texted it, not interested. So anytime someone clicks the link and they watch it, I get a notification, not interested. Just because just for my own personal use, I wanted to see how many people are actually watching um, the video, even though they told me they weren't interested. So you're just copying and pasting. This whole script, I have it just saved in the notes section of my phone so that I can easily just copy and paste. Um, Jeremy said, do you follow up with your new connections if they do not respond to your initial private message or just move on to the next? Um, typically, Jeremy, I'm moving on to the next because this, I just do. The funnel is full 
And if you're working multiple social media platforms, it, the, I mean, the fortune is in the follow-up. I, I follow up from time to time, but I'm just trying to get through the numbers. I'm just trying to get through the numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, Anita said, how can you contact people that you have reached on a business page on Facebook, but it doesn't show names? Not sure. If it doesn't show their name, I'm thinking that's not an active account. And I usually don't connect with people on the business page. I, I go to the personal page. Let's see. Marti said this was awesome. Thank you. Someone on a Samsung said, where would I find the information via email that you can send out? I'm not sure what you're asking on a Samsung. If you can unmute yourself, I'm not sure what you're asking. Uh, Hello. How you doing? This is Latanya Jones. Hi. I was just asking um, for the script that you already have. Do you send it via email? The ones that you already have? Because I was trying to write it out. But oh. I'm just saying, do you have it via um, already out? Yeah, you JP out has script? it. So JP will share it. I guess in, in the group so you guys can copy and paste it from there. Um, I don't do anything via email. Oh, okay. Um, personally, because things go into spam folders and they never get it. And if you guys are like me, your email is like ridiculous with all the vendor supplier email. My email's off the hook, so I don't do anything with email. I always do now do text message. Because we know everybody checks their text messages, so yeah. I kind of stay away from email. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Great information. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, so uh, thank you, Ebony. One thing with working any social media platform, do not do too many of these at one time, or else you'll, especially on Facebook, they'll put you in Facebook jail and then you won't be able to send messages. Um, I would say I've done up to 50 before Facebook was like, eh, put the brakes on it. So don't go over 50 and don't go too fast, you know? And if you're working multiple social media platforms, maybe you do, you know, 25 on Facebook and then, you know, jump over to Instagram and, and do a few there, you know, wait a little while and then come back and do it, but don't do too many at one time. And definitely personalize um, the the peak because I, I've noticed too. I think Facebook is picking up on it's the same message going out, going out, going out. So definitely take some time to personalize it. Great question. All right. Um, are your slides the same verbiage that was copied to the accountability group? Yes, it is. Um, I did make one edit to this training. I did add the peak rep. Before I was just sending the peak ITA, but I was like, no, I might as well send the peak rep too. So I did add that to the not interested. Uh, Nicole said, how do you keep track of those that you contact? Do you use the index cards? No. Actually, I don't. Anybody that I sent the video to, I add them to my cell phone calendar to follow up so that my calendar stays full. So, you know, I'll just put follow up, John Smith, and then in parentheses, I put Facebook. So I know that it was through Messenger or follow up, Nicole Smart IG. Yeah, but Tanisha, I would like some of our beginners and intermediate to put your follow-up in writing like because most people um who are beginners yes. they, they're just spamming sending out and i want you guys operating in a professional manner i want you tracking every person you prospect until you get yourself to one star director so please take the time to write down either on index cards, in your journal, on your calendar, or if you wanna do it in your phone, but at minimum, please do not send out all of these peaks and you're not professionally logging it. it. It should be logged the date that you prospected and the date you followed up, the date they're gonna get started. I mean, all that should be uh, chronic, 
chronological, uh, chronological, I can't even say it, <laughs> chronologized. Chronologically. Um, <laughs> Yes, there you go. Um, but it, it's a professional. We want to really, really teach. Um, this is social media, but so many people, Tanisha, would you agree? Because um, even if you're belly to belly, I'm very methodical about writing down who I prospect. And Absolutely. I always write down the next step. And so a lot of people will just pass out business cards or they'll just peek a bunch of people. And then you, they don't have it recorded where they can go back and trace their steps. Absolutely. I have a book. I track. I have people written down in my book. And then I put them on my cell phone because I don't always have this book. <laughs> but I always have my cell phone. But yes, I agree. You definitely want to uh, write it down for sure. For sure. All right. Uh, let me go back to some of these messages here. Thank you. Can the beginning of the script be edited for people you have not spoken to in years? Absolutely. Um, definitely, you know, personalize the intro of the script. Um, if you haven't spoken to someone in a few years, definitely, um, you know, tweak it to say, you know, hey, how, how are you? It's been a while. You know, would love to catch up with you. You know, when are you available, you know, for coffee or something like that? Um, but you know keep the main thing the main thing you know one is business and one is personal so maybe you follow up with them maybe you build rapport with them again first right have a separate conversation with them hey what's been going on with the family or whatever and then maybe a day or two later then you can you know hit them with this I see. Anita said, I posted on a golf page and reached a thousand people. That's awesome. This is awesome, especially in the business card information. Uh, Natasha asked, can you do LinkedIn as well? Yes, I love LinkedIn because they're all professionals. Uh, all right. Great information. Very simple and to the point. Is the script in Vimeo? No, the script is not in Vimeo. <laughs> Ava, is that our, our Miss Black? Yes. Miss Black, whoever does not have the script, somehow you're not in our groups or something. I don't understand, but you need to inbox me. Anyone who don't have who doesn't have the script, personally inbox me, and I will um, send it to you. So you you must not be in boot camp or something's going on. Um, but go ahead and inbox me and I'll send it to you because everybody got it who's in our groups. So has anybody used the script and wants to share their feedback? I've okay. used it. Hi, Quasi. how are you? Good. <laughs> So I love it. We were talking about it last week at the meeting. And so I was just like, I'm going to do this. And it has gone really well. Um, I had some hangups. That's why I asked about it last week at the meeting, because I had some hangups about doing, you know, on social media. But it really takes the pressure off of it. It has the conversation. Yeah. And especially for those people who are, you know, business minded they're they're the ones that are going to respond they're either going to say yes or they're going to say no because right. they're going to actually read the message those that aren't they're not your people so you just move on right but um it really it really helps it helps the conversation flow um mm -hmm. and it just it's so it's so easy like it's so easy <laughs> right right <laughs> thank you for sharing and awesome Definitely, guys, make sure your personal page is on point because a lot of the people that you're messaging, um, if, especially if you're not friends with them and you're working your groups, the first thing they're going to do is go check your personal page and see, well, who is this person? What, what about them? So what are they going to see when they go to your, to your personal page? Do they even know that you're in a travel business? Are you are you showing that you are sharp, ambitious, a professional, you know, that you, you love to travel, you're a family person, you're a spiritual, like what is your page saying about you? You have to remember your Facebook page is your reality show. What are you putting out there? Because people will follow you and you'll see 
after a while, people are going to respond to you that you do engage with, and they'll say, well, I've been following you for a year now, or you're always popping up on my timeline. You know, So you always want to post something on your page every single day, not necessarily about your business, but you want to stay on people's timelines um, by engaging. You have to engage. You can't just post. You have to also engage. And go live. Facebook loves going live and increases your engagement and it lets people know that you're a real person and you're not a fake account, right? I always tell people, if you really want to know if you're sharing enough of your personal self, and some of you are very, you're introverts and you're very personal, but you can't be an introvert and very personal and try to grow a business because here your network is your net worth. So you have to break out of that shell. So ask yourself a question. If I was to ask your best friend to give me five words to describe you, what would those five words be? Now, this is your best friend, this person that knows you better than anybody else, right? Now, if I was to go on your Facebook page and did a poll and ask your Facebook followers, give me five words that describe you, would they match what your best friend knows about you? And if your Facebook followers can't give me any of those five words, then you're not sharing enough of yourself, right? And people like to do business with people that they know and trust. So, you know, my Facebook followers, you know, they could tell you, oh, she has a son, his name is Jace, right? Uh, her husband's name is Andrew. Uh, she loves pineapple. She loves Moscato wine. She hates to pack. Like, my followers, they know me. They know me, they know me, even though they never met me because I share um, you know, about my personal life, but I don't share stuff that I don't want them to know, but I want them to know who I am as a person, right? So that's very, very important. Uh, Willa asked, should we use our personal page or create a group business page? So do not create a business page unless you plan to pay for advertising and also be prepared to track, right? So if you use a business page and you're paying for advertising, now you wanna track, if you get a new business partner, you need to track, well, how did you find out about me? Was it from my personal page or was it from my business page or was it from the ad? Because how do you know if, that, if you're getting a return of your investment on those ads if you're not tracking it? So I don't do the business page. I mean, I have one, but it was before Facebook made it a real business business page with all these ads, so I still have it. Um, the group that I created is more so to, it's a travel group to promote the IntelliTravel business, and I promote deals and specials and stuff. But as far as Planet Marketing Rep and, and recruiting and prospecting, it's all about the personal page. Because when people are scrolling through their timeline, they're looking at your personal stuff. They don't see the groups. Right? They get the notifications about the group, but when people are scrolling through Facebook, it's your personal page that they're seeing. Any other questions? Well, Tanisha, I want to thank you for a stellar training. I couldn't, I'm telling you, uh, Julia contacted me from California. She's like, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Miss Ima, Ebony, um, I had so many people like, we are ready for this. And so I want to thank you so much. And I also want to tell the Texas um, reps that are on the line that there is an incentive. There's a, there's a big incentive one-on-one -on -one time with social media guru Tanisha Burke we're going to put out there if you can get one recruit this week by June the 16th you have a few days um, by Sunday if you can get one recruit so um, Laquanda, Gentry, Jeremy, Tiffany Ingram, all of my Dallas people, all of my Houston people um, y'all get on this Orlando, uh, Jeremy, uh, Tina line, you guys better get on this because if you have one recruit, you can win uh, a sit down and we're going to be doing this sit down in a private location. We will tell you the location, but it will be Tanisha's flying in uh, Friday morning. So her afternoon, she has blocked out to work with us and to dialogue and to get to know us. And then that evening, she's going to be doing travel parties. Of course, Saturday, she's going to be doing social media training. So um, definitely if you're in Texas, um, you know, get your tickets for Dallas so that you can meet Tanisha, but 
we will have VIP one-on-one -on -one time with her Friday. All you got to do is get one recruit by the 16th. And Tanisha, we get a chance. That's right. That one finger. That's all you got to do. It's a go-getter challenge. It's a speed wealth challenge. And you can sit down and somebody said, oh my goodness, it's in the afternoon. Well, call in slick. <laughs> I'm slick today. <laughs> So that you can be with Tanisha. So Tanisha, um, closing thoughts. My closing thoughts would be to be consistent with the script. Set a goal, a daily goal for yourself of how many times you're going to uh, send out, my husband calls this the Jappy, J-A, <laughs> just as peak interest, the Jappy script. He's green, by the way, uh, JP. So, you know, he has a system and a spreadsheet for everything. <laughs> but <laughs> has set a goal for how many times you're going to send out the message a day and just stick to that goal. Don't go to bed unless you hit your target goal. Just like Mr. Bradley says, give out, you know, three business cards or five business cards a day. Do the same thing with your social media. And it's all about going through the numbers. And, you know, right now, not a lot of people in Planet know about this script. Um, my team and I, we've been using it since February. Um, but now I've been asked to do this training with more and more people. So you, you got to get through the numbers. And, you know, really target. Think about your target market of the people that you're looking for. You know, sharp, ambitious. So think doctors, lawyers, real estate agents, insurance brokers, you know, teachers, professionals, business owners. And really, you know, don't just fish, but hunt. Yeah. Woo! Well, thank you so much, Ms. Burke, for your time. We look forward to having you into, in Dallas. We look forward to continuing to glean from you and learn from you. And everybody, let's all jump on the webinar with Coach Philip Rollins happening at the top of the hour. Have a great evening, everyone. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank My you. My pleasure. Thank you.